hi guys you welcome back to my youtube channel once again guys today in this video we are taking ourselves through our simple stuff about google admob and uh, tongue cable and how you can create a uh, self application from tongue cable to end from google admob as well i have received uh, tons of uh, comments messages about google admob some commented that okay they are Admob girls blocked after they have earned some money and some commented that they do not uh, get uh, know how to build the application with tongue cable they don't know how to do this they don't know how to do that but they paid a freelancer before they get their own application guys today in this video i'm going to show you everything step by step on what you have to do what you need to do if you are a new viewer just visiting this channel for the first time just try to click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever a new video is posted so guys let us get into business Hi guys and you welcome back to my youtube channel once again guys today in this video like i told you earlier we are looking on tonkebu google admob how you can create an application with tonkebu do this do that with tonkebu and with admob on the other tab you can see guys i have my google admob open and you can see that i have the earning of 60.79 us dollar ready withdrawing maybe this month or next month on my google Admob, as you can see, because I have received some messages from people who are trying to tell me that okay, Google AdSense is a scam, they are not withdrawing their money. Google block them whenever they try to withdraw their money, or whenever the date is complete, Google AdSense block them. But when I look at this vividly, I try to understand that some people try to create a self click application for themselves so that they can hang with it and which is very very wrong to with the google adsense privacy and policy and payment guidelines you can't just sit down create an application monetize the application with the google admob and start clicking on the ads yourself google will never take this for you and will surely block your adsense for this and whenever your adsense is locked do not think that google has taken the money put it in their own pocket no Google will refund the advertiser because Google AdSense is built based on truth. So let us get into this. Um, if you try to create an application with Tongue Cable, it is very easy. As you can see, this is very, very good. And this is uh, self explanatory. You can see the button right here, which says start. When I scroll down, you can see there are a lot of uh, Tongue Cable stuffs over here, which you guys could see over here. And um, so to start to build your app, it is very simple pick your cursor and click on the start building over here you can try to uh monetize the project um something like that on these tabs that are over here that I'm, I'm trying to show you before this pop up like all this this and that if you need that but going straight to the business you can see it says create a new project write a project name that is your application name the project name that you write here now will be the application name that you are trying to build so the project name i would like to write yt training and then pick a category for your uh for your application you can select more category like this once i click on it over here you see we have the books um the businesses um the developer tools education and we have so many um category like that you just choose a category based on the type of application that you're trying to create so after that is done just click on this create it is easy as one two three it is easy as abc just like that you just have your application created and then after that is done that your application is created you just head over to google ad Mob all right here then try to get the ads code there are so many ad codes on the Google Ad Mob. We have the interstitia, we have the banner ad, and we have the reward video. If you don't know the differences between these uh, ads, the, uh, this Google Ad Mob ads, I will try to explain to you once and for all now. The banner ads is just a small thing like this that shows below your video or sorry that shows below your application maybe you try to create a gaming application something like banner like this the hats is one that show below it and the interstitial one is the one that covers your whole screen like this and the reward video is the video that plays maybe you could try to create a game application and um maybe like candy crush you know candy crush maybe your move just finished 
and then you know candy crush will bring a video for you to watch so that you can you could get more moves to continue playing the game that is called a reward video you can only use a reward video for a gaming application so guys in this in, in this place now let me try to show you how you can get your ads code with google ad mode it is very simple so you just all you have to do is that you head over to the apps over here as you can see it's over there let me try to click on the app so as you can see we have the apps over here now you see you, you see add app view all apps and so many like that so let me try to click in on the ad applications so so once i've clicked on the ad applications um google ad mob will try to tell me am i adding an android app or an ios application i'm gonna choose the android application as we all know that that is the most popular things that people were using day in day out so as you can see all over here now we have it over here are you choosing the android or the ios i'm gonna go for the android don't try to follow my step you can go for the ios instead if that is what you are just trying to do so it says is your app listed on a supported app store maybe for the android user is your app on the play store and for the ios user is your app on the ios or the apple store so i'm gonna click on no don't try to say okay um, my app is not on the apple store so because of that i won't be able to use the google ad mode. no you can use it so i'm gonna click on continue if i click on yes that's my app is already listed on the uh, apple store or on the play store google ad mode will try to take me into the google uh, uh play store for me to choose my applications you know and i have no application on the on the on the, on the google app so there's no one that I, i'm gonna try to take so let me try to write my app name so it will be yt training just exactly like the one that i tried to create it in the tongue cable don't forget that guys okay so i'm gonna write the yt training then click on this add application add app okay now so successfully it is done now the next thing that we need to do as you can see is for us to create the ad units that is the google ad mob ads and after that i we can try to test it and um, add it to the play store now some people do a mistake like okay when the ads has been input on the application they try to click on the on the live ads themselves that is not recommended by google ad mob that's the that's the main reason why google ad mob has tried to give us a testing before we go into real one you can try to create a testing ads that will show it and you can try to click it and to know how it will work instead of you trying to click uh, trying to click on live ads it is done so let us try to create our ads ads units very simple and straightforward so here we are guys as you can see it's right over here now we have the app id you see this app id is like um should i call it it's like something that makes the google ad mob recognize your app apart from other people's app yes it was like your google adsense id as well you know in google adsense we have an id this id is what differentiates your account to the other guys who are using the google adsense so we have the app id if you don't know anything about how to connect your your ad adsense to your application or your ad move to your app don't try to do this on your own if you if you don't know how to do it you can head over to fiverr.com to search for a professional and send them your app id your interstitial your banners and um your ad unit i mean and they will try to do it for you perfectly so over here now is the ad unit tab so i click on the ad unit right over here so it is done i click on it try to create our ad unit so here we have as you can see over here so it says create ads units to display ads and if you look vividly into this example you see we have the um interstitia over here we have the banner over here and this is the reward video as well over here but over the years i can't say if google ad move have tried to increase the level of earning as we all know that in youtube right now there are so many ways that you can earn on youtube right now before we only earn on youtube through the ads that you guys just watch and skip we end through ads before but now we end through membership through our live video live stream 
so many things uh super charts super stickers so i don't know if google admob has added some external way to end on the google admob as well but for the meantime let us try to click on get started right down here wow as you can see now it's like google admob has improved and they have added so many many ways to end and i can see like six way over here now we have the banner the interstitial the reward okay reward interstitial reward um native advanced and app open wow that that means google admob is trying to earn more revenue that means why they do all this so in this video now i'm just trying I, I will try to go for the banner to do it as an example you can just do it in the same way for for the rest as well so just click on the select down here so so then you have to enter your ad unit name the main reason why you need to enter this ad unit name is that you know you can create as many as ad units that you want but for you to be specified about which ad unit is truly working for you you need to create an ad unit name so i'll be doing using this as yt yt1 okay check into the advanced but it doesn't it doesn't matter it doesn't matter for you to check into this so let's just draw, click on the create and unit and that is done your ad unit is created and everything is perfect and everything is live on the google ad move so that is how you can just create your um google ad move ad unit and then once you've created it let us wait for it to load once you've created it you just try to copy the ad unit then head over to your tongue cable again then try to paste the ad unit in the monetization tab that you can see right over there i'm sorry for this is not loading once you, you you try to click on the create application you will see it right there and once you have created it it is simple and once you've done it you will be able to end again with your application so guys thank you for watching today's video if this video has helped you with it too, please do not forget to subscribe to this youtube channel turn on the bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever a new video is posted and please share this video with any of your friends who might be in need of help you can also drop your comment if you have any question you know i will always reply to you immediately and you can get over to me to meet me on my instagram at iproach12 and you also message me on my whatsapp or via email i will reply to you immediately and answer to all your queries so guys thank you for watching this video till we meet in the next video stay home and stay safe